Phoenix police officer Tyler Moldivan remains on life support in the hospital tonight after being shot in the line of duty early Tuesday morning. His family, friends and members of his North Phoenix church continue to pray for a miracle. Team 12's Michael Dowden is outside St. Joseph's Hospital for us tonight. Michael. Yeah, guys, family friends told us the family is understandably having a hard time. This was looking like such a great year for Tyler. He got married, became a Phoenix officer, but now he's fighting for his life inside this hospital as a community is trying to rally behind him. He was he was the perfect child. Tyler is um, an all American kid. Family friends say Tyler Moldovan is a servant leader in every sense of the word. Full of joy, uh, very well behaved, uh, hard working. Claude Olar is a member of the church that Tyler's family helped start in North Phoenix and has known him since birth, watching him serve God before stepping up to serve his community. Tyler Moldovan. In March, the 22 year old became a Phoenix police officer. In May, he became a husband. But on Tuesday, his life changed while checking out reports of cars driving erratically near 15th Avenue and Camelback. We have an officer down 4802 North 50th Avenue. Essa Williams is accused of shooting Tyler eight times, including in the head. I saw him on, on Sunday night, and, and to hear about it on Tuesday morning, it was a total shock. A man with so much life in front of him is now in extremely critical condition. Like you, you think it's a dream that you just want to wake up and pretend like it never happened. On Friday, the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association will hold a fundraiser to support the family as a community gathers around a man who is willing to give it all for them. We're, we're grieving with you and we're hoping with you and we're praying with you um, and we are here for you. I'm praying for a miracle. Now, if you would like to help out the family, plea is holding a fundraiser tomorrow at their headquarters off 11th Avenue in Adams, and all the proceeds from that event will be heading towards the family. We're live outside of St. Joseph Hospital Medical Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News.